Hello, my name is Shan Liu. I'm a senior scientist from Molecular Devices. Today, I'm going to talk about my recent work, a case study comparing cone select single cell printer at site versus two traditional cloning methods used, using two cell lines uh, common for antibody production. As we know, as the regulations for cell line development have become more stringent, and researchers are required to perform single cell cloning and provide proof of clonality. In this study, we conducted six sets of experiments to demonstrate a combined workflow for this process and compare the, com the performance of different cloning methods employed. These slides illustrate how the combined FSI and CSI workflow provides high assurance of clonality in a single round of cloning. As you can see on the left side of figure A, there are five overlaid images captured by FSI from white light and green fluorescence channel. Pictures one, two, three, four were taken before and at the event, the event of single cell dispensing into a microplate, which you can see later in the figure B, the image of a dispensed single cell captured by CSI on day zero. As the final results show, the FSI improves uh, corona outgrows for each cell type tested by providing a gentle and efficient cell sorting method for cell line development. This approach is particularly valuable for cell lines with inherent low tolerance to high fluid pressure, which often leads to a poor cell growth after fluorescence cell sorting. 